feel i don't know what to do this is so weird hey vc here so i'm breaking down one of the most fun and dynamic and interesting races i've ever done it's called the best of both it's in bend oregon now there's a single steed race which is one bike and you do kind of three different types of terrain uh you've also got a relay where you can have uh, a gravel bike a road bike and a mountain bike and different people ride each one they also have the solo which i am doing so you have three bikes that you're racing on one course. So the way it works is the course is broken into three sections. The first section is a gravel course. So I'm bringing my gravel bike. Uh, that's what we're starting on. Then, just like a triathlon, you transition to a road bike. You could also have a TT bike, which is something I'll talk about later. But then after the road section, you jump on your mountain bike and hit some single trail. All one race. Right now, we're starting on gravel. Now, I have no idea who the hitters are here. I don't know if one guy's super strong, one guy's not strong. Also, we're coming through the tail end of the single steed pack, which did cause a little bit of confusion because they started the single steed, like one bike uh, ahead of us. So then there were some people at the tail end of that. So then you're like, dude, I don't even know who's in my race. So I'm looking around trying to see, hey, are there any strong guys? Can I, can I pick someone out? I see this guy. So let's pull up the checklist. He's young. He's lean. He's a local shredder. He's last year's winner. He has ride hard gloves. His gloves say ride hard. What do you think he's going to do? He's probably going to ride hard. So we're going to follow Purple Nurple uh, because, dude, he's sticking out like a grape in that purpleness. So we are going to full send. I'm feeling so very good. Uh, it's very rare that I feel good in a race. I feel confident. Uh, you know, my confidence here, though, because I don't really know exactly what to expect. I really feel like the mountain bike section is going to be hard for me. And already then by seeing some of the people take off down these descents, I know these guys are absolute mountain bike shredders, purple nurple flying. Now, again, like I said, we're, we're coming up on the tail end of people on the single bike, but then also guys in my race, but then there's also people doing the relay. So it's really hard to know who am I racing against? And right here, we uncork it throw down some berries. Uh, I have to bridge back up because these guys drop me on, on the first little gravel descent. And that makes me worried. It makes me worried for the future of this event because I have to finish on a mountain bike course. So if they're already better than me on a gravel bike, what's the mountain bike section going to be like? So I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm trying to catch up. Purple, purple guy. Boom. Got it. Okay. I know you're probably front group. It was really spicy. I, I really had, didn't expect it to be this spicy. I, I don't know what I was expecting, actually, because I've never raced any of these guys. I've never raced an event like this where you race three different bikes. Um, I've never raced Bend, Oregon before. Beautiful, by the way. Dirt, so amazing. Uh, it was really a way when we started, you sort of started going downhill. Now, we're going towards a pretty big climb. Um, that's where I feel like people are going to get separated. Uh, I don't want to wreck. I don't want to flat, okay? These are these are things that like, I'm not going to win the race on this first section, but I definitely could lose it. So we're flying. Purple dude, absolutely shredding fools. I mean, I'm really trying to make sure that my power stays very consistent because this is going to be a long day. This is, you know, uh, an 80 something mile race, but with three different bikes. So let's settle in. Let's do good. Let's crush. Let's make it to the climb. That was a close one. I mean, if she had gone just a little bit more, uh, we would have gone head on. That would have been bad news. So I am absolutely uncorking it. 
uh, to try to catch back onto this front group. I feel really bad for yelling at her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling at you. Uh, just trying to get your attention so we both didn't end up in the hospital. Boom. Finally, I catch back on to these absolute shredders. And so I'm for sure, okay, when it comes to the mountain bike section, I'm getting blown out. So I need a big gap. And, and now I've been chasing for a while. And Purple Nurple just freaking lights it up on this climb. And it's a pretty big climb uh, on gravel. It's pretty steep. I think it goes up to 15%. Beautiful, though. I mean, the hero dirt here in Oregon, uh, I I would say this is almost road bikeable, but I was on... Um, I was on 34s, I believe, on my uh, my ultimate. I might have been on 32s. Now, I, I was on my BWR setup, so I was running 34s. So, looking around, okay, this shredder, he is going. Now, we're going early. I mean, how, like, really early. We still have a 50-mile road section. So, is it if, if I bridge to this guy, is it going to just be me and him? Should I let him go? Like, all these things are going on in my head. Should, should I just let him go, burn up his wad, and then I'll stay with these other guys, and then we'll roll on the road? But what if those guys don't want to roll? I don't know them. I don't, I don't know their tendencies. So I am absolutely trying to catch this freaking kid, and I have been chasing him for so long, and it's like every, I would get so close, and then he would just motor away, motor away. I could not get into his freaking draft, but how often do I shred a field? Never, so I got to get some footage of this, right? Yes, I'm breathing through my eyeballs, but I got to get footage of other people getting blown out. So I've got to catch this guy. I am absolutely full gas to get back on his wheel. And now my saddle, totally down. I am standing. I cannot sit. I cannot sit and, and pedal. Why? Because I lent Chris Miller my bicycle when he came and rode with me, Australian pro, and he adjusted my saddle, didn't tighten it to any ways. Chris Miller's fault. Uh, my saddle is all the way down. That's okay because I'm going to switch bikes, right? But So right now I'm dying. I'm breathing through my butthole. So I, I, I put the camera down because it's in my mouth. I can't breathe. So then I, I, I take a little grouper, okay? Boom, dude. We just got to stay on his wheel. This kid is flying. I, I just got to stay here with him. I'm standing the whole entire time, and that's okay because we're having fun. And we're in Oregon. Look at this shot. Mount Bachelor, I think. Mount Hood. I, I'm not sure. A mount, okay? Dude, lighting it up. He does not want me on his wheel at all. He doesn't even, he, he wants to just solo this whole thing. Uh, and be the absolute hero, but but and be a local hero. But I'm sorry, bro. I'm the local hero. I'm going to be the hero. And so I am chasing and chasing and chasing, and I am going to get on this guy's wheel. Uh, I, I got to give myself a chance on the road section because that's really where I feel like my strength is going to be. And you're solo, right? Not relay. Yeah, I'm solo. You are as well, right? Yeah. Alrighty, on the road bike. Alrighty, so now we're on the road bike. I'm on my Aero Road. The transition from ro uh, gravel to road, so fast, bro. So fast. I was a lightning bolt. Alrighty, I don't know where that purple guy went. Um, I feel like he's up the road, but I mean, I went through the transition fast. So uh, maybe he's behind me. I have no idea where I'm at. So now I got to be a math whiz. I got to do trigonometry. I got to be a math genius to figure out how many watts it's going to take for me to solo this whole thing. Now, one, soloing this entire race. Wow. Awesome. Great me. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I think I'm probably going to get caught right at the mountain bike section. I'll be destroyed. So I actually weighed up for Purple Nurple. And me and him are going to solo. All right, we're on course. We're with Purple Dude. He is flying. All right, so he's saying there's a climb. Heard like 2,000 feet. That kind of finishes road section. I don't think you can see, but there's about a group of three or four just right behind us. And we are just in a block headwind. It's really neat how this race is playing out. There's so much dynamic to it. Like, do you just uncork it right here? 
burn all your matches into the wind and get caught in the climb. Yeah. I mean, we're not going slow, but we're not full race pace right now. Probably wait for these guys to catch. So then we wait for these other guys to catch us. And there was only three of them, but man, we are just into a block headwind. It was one of these courses where you're doing 24, not even pedaling with a group, or you're doing 22 and you're breathing through your butthole. All right, so this is not ideal. Uh, these guys are gonna shred me on the mountain bike section. So, I mean, I have to have a gap going into the mountain bike section. So it is gonna be a full basket of berries on this climb. You. All right, so I need personally, I believe, a huge gap going into the mountain bike section, but we know Purple Nurple's a shredder. We know this guy, he's wearing camo with a jersey that says taco time. For sure the guy can mountain bike, right? I'm also looking at the guy in the blue and yellow. He looks pretty fit. Uh, so I'm kind of like, ooh, maybe this guy's gonna be good on the road, road climb. Cause there's a good like maybe 15 minute road climb. Now it's not super steep, and I actually did a little bit of it the last time I was here in, in, in Bend to kind of promote this event. Um, so I feel good about it. Again, also, dude, I feel so freaking good. My legs, my heart, everything. But I'm just so unfamiliar with how the mountain bike section is going to be. So this guy's kind of putting in a little bit of an effort. We were all rolling pretty good, but it really neutralized this group because it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to ride away from this group? We're all rolling 24 to 35 miles an hour on some of these downhills. Uh, now, you could have ridden a full-on TT bike like this woman. Boom. She was running a full-on TT setup. You could have done that. And I almost feel like if you wanted to solo the whole thing, you could have. But maybe TT isn't really in the spirit of racing necessarily. Uh, but dude, she closed like a five-minute gap on us on that TT bike. Anyways, we hit the climb. It is time to play bikes. It is time to do the thing we came here to do because this is my advantage, right? I kind of blew my wad on the gravel section to create a huge gap that didn't really go anywhere, right? Me and me and Purple Bro, um, his name's Ryder, by the way. Uh, we did this huge effort to get away, but the, we're just back with them. So now it's time. Regroup shred these guys absolutely give it the full basket of berries and see if you can because like how much can you really make up on like a 15 minute climb could i make two minutes like two minutes would be absolutely insane if i could make up that much time on everyone right uh but that's probably not what i'm gonna do i mean first off i gotta drop this kid freaking age doper over here i have got to drop him and so i am giving it my all i'm holding like 350 you know that was my goal is to hold 350 watts for the whole climb and that's pretty much exactly what i did uh snowing freezing so cold and you know i keep looking back freaking kid aged doper got his tongue out rolling could not shake this freaking kid at all and, and i was giving it my absolute all now it started to taper off started to roll and so now here like Okay, he's getting so much draft. And that's okay, because what a beautiful shot. The blue, the pink, the snow, the glasses, the sky. Probably one of my favorite shots ever. All right, we've gapped. Pretty much everyone pretty hard, but the mountain bike section is totally where I am going to flounder, flounder, whatever, not do good. So let's go. Oh, come on, come on, dude. <sighs> Dude, that transition was garbage. Whatever, it doesn't matter, we gotta go. All 
right, so now we're on the mountain bike. I'm on my Lux. Uh, it's only got 100 mil of travel in the front and back. It is full suspension. I really like this bike. Now, it's like a kind of a gag of being like, oh, I don't know how to ride mountain bikes, and I suck. Um, but I do ride this thing maybe once a week, sometimes more. Uh, I really, really enjoy mountain biking. It's just not something that I put a whole lot of time into. There's a lot of skill. There's a lot of talent. There's a lot of technique that I don't really uh, put time into. I just more do it as a fun thing. But, dude, I think I'm in the lead. I think I'm in the lead. So I am just like, I'm the greatest ever. And I'm trying to just gap uh, Purple Bro so hard because I know he's going to be coming. I know that there's going to be some technical sections. So, dude, I'm full gas right now. And then to my surprise, he teleported in front of me somehow. No, I just took a really long time in transition. And he's been up the road. And so now I go from thinking I've got a huge gap on him to like, oh, no, man. He's been noodling. And now I got to catch him? Full berries. <laughs> Now, this guy, one, knows these trails, okay? You can just you can just tell. This guy's a mountain biker, right? I mean, the way he's moving, and so I'm trying to stay as close to him as possible. I'm taking a ton of risks. Now, I know that maybe to you as a mountain biker or something is like, oh, this is no big deal. It's just an easy trail. So this is like a Sunday ride. For me, I am risking my life in every turn front ends like tucking, back ends drifting. Uh, I am pushing way beyond my limits. I'm riding over my head because as you can see, you don't see him anymore. So when it gets fast and flowy and technical, he is gone. Uh, and so now I did pre-ride the, like the last 10 miles of this course with my boy. Um, my boy was shredding. And so I know that if I can be close to him in the last 10 miles, I got this. <laughs> Which way? Now you know what? Is it it? So he, he had a little issue. Now, I don't know if it would have changed anything, but he did have to stop for, you know, 10 seconds, right? So I did catch back up. Now he's behind me. He gets back in front of me. Uh, dude, he's flying. Look at this. I mean, he. I can't handle this. God damn it. I am trying so hard. I barely am able to stay on him until we get to uh, this big like dirt road, right? This like gravel road section that's going to take us now to the final climbing section. Okay, so I, in my eyes, I've gotten through the hardest bits, the gravel section, the road section, the hardest part of the mountain bike section. All I got to do is finish this climb. What's your name, bud? I'm Ryder, by the way. Ryder? Yeah. Uh, well, Ryder says that we're on a technical climb here about 15 minutes probably to the finish what a race oh, shit sorry oh come on the uphill super technical so many rocks kind of worried about flatten but that's okay and look purple bro purple nurple rider last year's winner and absolute local shredder is just crushing making me want to be a better mountain biker like watching him this close, it's like, dude, that's badass. I wish I was this good. And then he gives me a really deep effort. I mean, he goes for it. This is where he tries to snap me. And right now, you know what I'm thinking? Second place is pretty cool. Second place is pretty awesome. A podium shot's pretty cool. Like that's what the pain it, voice. And then I'm like, no, dude. How many opportunities do you ever have to win a bike race? You never have an opportunity. You never have an opportunity to win. You have an opportunity to win right now. So suck it up, buttercup, and go for it. Don't drop off. Don't give up. 
dude, don't even sit on his wheel. Don't wait for a sprint. You have an opportunity to win a freaking bike race. You never have that opportunity. Go, dude, send it. Give it everything you've got. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. Dude, I just, I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to do. This is so weird. Okay, so it's freezing, uh, but that was so much fun. Like you're always trying to find a race that's dynamic and not stale and not just like, oh, we know this guy is gonna win. And obviously having three different bikes was just, it raced exactly how I was hoping it was gonna race, which is that you have strong guys in certain sections and, and you know, like obviously the mountain bike goes my my weakest discipline of the three. And I, I mean, I uncorked it on that climb. Got that gap, but that little young buck, dude, it was everything I had to catch him. But now here's the thing is this mountain bike course suited me perfectly because there was only really like two, three minutes of actual descending. For the most part, it was all climbing and, and it was technical. So that's like just me all day. Look. I'm a self-deprecating type of guy. I kind of feel like I, I want to belittle this or degrade this and be like, well, you know, here's all the reasons. I don't really want to do that. I won. And I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'm very happy. The feeling is amazing. And um, I'm stoked. I'm stoked because like my family, this huge trip, there's a huge trip for this. And so to come out here and do well, perform well, um, I know that my wife doesn't really care about that kind of thing, but to me, it feels like justification for this huge trip. Gentlemen from Bass Lake, California, is Tyler Pierce, also known as the Vegan Cyclist. Yeah. Uh, this race was phenomenal. Um, all the bikes is, I mean, that's amazing. It's, it's such a... Uh, a, a way to show who's most well-rounded and the way that the race played out was so dynamic um where you know you have someone maybe strong on the gravel but then the road was it was kind of like neutralized because of the headwind and then it's like well i'm not really good at mountain biking so what do i do and uh it was just so much fun um and then also seeing all the different people what bikes they brought i mean it's amazing uh definitely one of the most fun races i've ever done for sure Awesome. Well, I appreciate that, Tyler. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your effort. Give these guys some love.